Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter from CarterMatt.com. This video is our first reaction to The Masked Singer Season 3. It has not aired yet. Nope. But we have seen a trailer. Yep. We have gotten a sense of some of the costumes. Yep. We're still basking in the glory of Wayne Brady winning today. Yes, congratulations, Wayne. You really deserved it. I know that I've been trying to talk about other people that it could be, but we've all known for a really long time who everybody is. Yeah. All the Google sleuths out there have have had the lists out forever. Yeah. It still didn't take away from Wayne's win. He he really deserved it. It was so his win was just felt so genuine yeah. and after he sang a song where he called himself out in the song for being the fox which was so clever yeah. and so funny it was just so nice to see him getting so emotional about having this opportunity to do this yeah. and they did a good job also of finally revealing how he's a superhero because yeah. We were kind of confused about that for a really long time. We just couldn't figure it out. It is the Black Lightning casting. I just wasn't really sold on that because it's another network. Yeah. And why would Fox want to promote the CW? I, I, yeah. well, beyond, I'm kind of surprised, but here we are. Yeah, and like that role, it wasn't even publicly announced that that was happening at the time this was filming. So that's also why I was kind of shocked by it. But I'm... Um, I'm thrilled for Wayne. I have loved Wayne Brady for the majority of my life. It is great to see him win and the way in which it happened. This is just a reminder that this is a show about the journey. It's actually not a show about, in my mind anyway, it's not a show about the guessing game. Because yes, people can figure it out online and then like two episodes in, everybody knows who everybody is. So that's just my take on it, but... Well, that's kind of the take you have to have. Otherwise, you end up like me, who's really frustrated because I enjoy the guessing game. I'm not on the computer looking up who people are and this clue and that clue, and that's why I have some changes that I'd like to see come in next season. <laughs> and we're going to get into that and the new costumes. Before we do anything else, if you do enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. So... Let's start with the costumes that we saw. We saw a few different ones. Which one did you enjoy the most? I really liked the monster. It was so nice to have that little bit of a throwback to the monster from season one, who won, and just seeing the female monster come out. It's just such a warm hug. When I saw that costume, I had such a smile on my face. I was so excited for it. I cannot wait. I have so many questions about the new monster. I mean, first of all, monsterette, monstrous. Like, what do we go with? We're going to go with Miss Monster. Miss Monster. Okay, well, I have other questions. I want to know the backstory. Is this the monster's sister? Or is this the monster's significant other? That's why I throw Miss Monster yeah. and not Mrs. Monster. You don't know yet. Yeah, there's an element of mystery here. I think the one thing that's not a mystery... I feel for this person. I remember T-Pain saying that this was the sweatiest costume by far yep. on the first season. It's like just, it's your full body in there. Not yeah, yeah, but I think that it's going to give them a little bit of an advantage because everybody remembers how much they love the monster and now here we have Miss Monster. The Masked Singer is really out for my heart these days because season two we had the Penguin and in season three we have the robot. I am here to win. Like, I knew you were going to love that robot. Yeah, I promise I will not do that for any other future video coverage we do. He is lying. There I, will be robot in every single well, video. Everyone loves the robot. It is an iconic dance. Absolutely. And everybody knows that you're going to pull it out. Yeah. It will be expected. It will be embraced. Okay, well, let's not count on embrace. <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I'll embrace it. Okay, I, somebody has I to. I like your dancing. Okay, so. well, the robot is coming. I am excited about the robot. I have no idea. Like, I, I want to know how in character the robot is going to be. Like, are they actually going to act like a robot the entire time? That could be really, really fun. That could be really fun. I am really hoping that we're going to get another seal on this season because yeah. in season two he was 
easily my favorite person, not just because I love Seal and I was such a fan girl yeah. of his growing up. Yeah. I loved that he was in character, that he built this character, that he stayed in character, and he had so much fun with the songs and with Nick and with yeah. everybody. He was so enjoyable to watch. So I'm hoping for another one coming up. Yeah, there was a few other costumes that were sort of teased as well. I mean, we saw the banana, which has already been shown off in some other shapes and forms already. Yeah, and then we saw a mouse that looked like it was rolling up to Jeffree Star's house. <laughs> is Jeffree Star on the Is that Jeffree Star visiting his house <laughs> dressed as the mouse? No, it felt like that's where he, where Nick was bringing it oh, up to okay. this house. And there was like, it looked like maybe you couldn't tell whose feet it was. And then a little dog came out. And for those of you who don't know, Jeffree Star is like a well, million dogs. This is the trick. They're bringing the mouse to Jeffree Star's house and he's actually already in the costume. And it's all throwing you off. That's right. But uh, no, I think there's going to be some fun costumes. And it sounds like... I, at least I'm hoping there's going to be some really big stars, at least for the premiere. You know you're going to have like 50 million people watching or some crazy number. Absolutely. You might as well just put somebody, like, give me George Clooney in the premiere. Yeah, they did tease that there's going to be these really big stars and... I feel like there probably will be that they were going to be even bigger than this season. They had some pretty big stars on this season. So if they're going even bigger than like a Patti LaBelle, who's a huge, huge legend, yeah. I'm pretty curious to see who they're going to bring on. Even if they're only on for an episode or two, then I'm fine with that. Yeah. I really want it to be just, like, some really, really random person who we would never expect. Like, the mouse is Daniel Craig or, like, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something really big. And they pull off the mask and it's Brad Pitt. And everybody's like, what? Yeah. Like, I want one of those really amazing jaw-dropping moments. Yeah. Because as soon as the season kicks off, it'll be all over yeah. and everyone will know who everybody is. Except for that first episode when it's all gravy. Yes. Let's get into that because I think we should all try to be in agreement here that the mass singer has a problem with their central conceit of okay this has to this is a guessing game. That's right. And it's it's difficult in a lot of ways because I I recognize there are probably some viewers out there who are families with kids, maybe they're not spending a lot of time, you know, online googling everybody and they just sort of watch the show and come back the next week. But then there is everyone else who Googles everyone and then it entire it gets spoiled inevitably. Or even who's just on social media. Like yeah. and it sucks for also just the people I mean, obviously social media has changed everything. So if you're on the West Coast like we are, and people have already watched on the East Coast, and you go into your Twitter and you see Mass Singer, and then right under you see Michelle Williams, it's like, oh well, I guess I don't need to watch anymore. Yeah, Mass Singer is very problematic in the social media <laughs> age. It just it all gets spoiled for you so quickly and there's nothing you can do. It does. So that Aside, because really, if you don't want to be spoiled by something, then why are you on Twitter or Facebook or anything like that? You just shouldn't be. Yeah. Just stay off being online for three hours. It'll yeah. be all right. For me, it's more about taking those clues, shoving them into Google, and just pulling apart the guessing game. Because now it's no longer a guessing game. Now it's just... Alexa, tell me who is a did this movie at this time. Yeah. Alexa, tell yeah. me who has twenty Grammys. It's like, a good thing we don't have an Alexa in this room. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and that you is. You can bring out your robot. Yeah, you know, um, I will tell you all the answers. I will tell you who I am. No, yeah, but, and I don't know really why that's fun for anybody who's doing it, except to be like, I'm right, I'm right. Yeah, that's, that, and I and I, I mean, I've probably ranted about this before, and this is my ultimate get off my lawn thing, is that I feel like we're in this culture where everyone feels like they have to be right all the time, and it's like, I love kind of falling on my face sometimes with really bad guesses on things on here, because it's all, it's all just fun, it's a TV show. and Absolutely, and yeah. that's why, even though all season long, yeah. we've all known it's Wayne, we all know that it's, you know, Chris we yeah. all know that it's everybody I've still been trying to ignore the lists and yeah. just bring out even just the possibility of somebody yeah. else that it just 
let's give us something to think about, even though nobody's going to be surprised. Yeah. So my suggestion is when it comes to the clues, because they gave some really stinker clues this season, that now looking back, I'm like, hmm, this actually might work out really well. So Seal had a clue that was a baseball bat. Yeah. And somehow I was supposed to take this baseball bat and somehow think about Batman. Yeah. <laughs> and that he had a song in a Batman movie. Yeah. There is no Googling that clue. You're not going to be like put in a baseball bat and I promise you nothing's going to come up for Batman. Yeah. I like those clues and I would like to see more of those clues that do you have a connection? It's loose, but it's there if yeah. you think about it. And that you can't just ask Google to ruin the show for you. And then ruin it for everybody else. Yeah, and I feel like beyond that, for me, my biggest thing is I would just kind of like fewer clues in general. Like, this is probably a crazy thing, and I don't think they'll ever do it. But I almost wish the first episode, rather than us than giving us actual clues in the clue package... Just maybe show the character and the person talking about why they wanted to be this character. So you get to know them on an emotional level. So you relate to them and you want to root for them, but you're not spoiled as to who they are. Or even just have them talking about the song they're going to perform. Yeah. just And maybe even a memory that they would have that no one would be able to figure out. Like... You know, I used to really love Seal, and I can talk about how I used to listen to his song a million times a day, and those types of things. There's no Googling that. No, and I would rather have that, and maybe if you want to do a clue, like give a clue, like one clue after the performance or something like that, but... That is gotta have that really long, you know, connection that somehow you're gonna, oh, here's my item, it's a baseball bat, and somehow you gotta get to Batman, and we all have to use our, our brains here to try to make those connections. To me, the fun of The Masked Singer is we're getting the opportunity to learn things about people who we would never learn about otherwise. And I think doing it this way actually gives us a chance to get to know these celebrities and actually understand more that they're real people who have real experiences and we're kind of sharing a part of their lives. And then we connect. It's just, it's more about connection, I think, than guessing. I would love it if they go in this route. I don't believe that they will, but... It would be nice. Yeah, I would be really excited to see them go in that route because a lot of the fun for me, and I'm sure a lot of the fun for everybody, is having a chance to just have those guesses, hear the voice. Like, I remember when I first heard Seal, and I I felt right away that it was him. Like, I could could hear in the voice, and I was so excited about that idea. And then the more I heard it, the more I was like, yeah, okay, this has got to be him sort of thing. And then people like, oh, yeah, I looked it up and this and that, whatever. I was like, hmm, well, great. (laughs) That's that's the problem with the show right now. (laughs) So it's, but that feeling and catching that feeling of hearing that singer that you, you know, really like is so cool. Yeah, I think it is. And if I'm trying to think about other changes, I, I don't think they, like the judging panel itself, I think the judging panel had some very clear hit moments this season. I think their chemistry is really, really good. Yeah, it's great. And I think they're fun. I think, I and not for me to criticize Kim Jong, because I, I love Kim Jong. I oh, love I know community. where you're going with this, because I'm going to say the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't need for him, this to become his weekly bit where he stands up and says, I know who this person is. And... Yeah, and it, but it's not even just weekly. It's like... 20 times a show. So if we have six people, I have to hear it six times. Like it's funny here and there, but now it's too much. And I love Ken too. I think he's so funny and there's just such a nice charisma about him. And I love having him on this panel, but now by the end of this season in particular, every time he stood up, I was just like, Oh please not again. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that thing. He can stand up and 
give us a ridiculous answer yeah. because that's what I expect from him and that's what I love from him. Yeah. He's like me where I'm like, oh, the Penguin's Hillary Clinton and there's no real rhyme or reason well, for this. Well, I, yeah, I think that's the problem. That <laughs> and Ken, I like that with him. Yeah, and I think that's the problem Ken found himself in is we saw other judges getting people right a lot and I think he probably was like, okay... We need to have some differences of opinion. Yes. And he just dialed it up to like 13 and maybe it needed to only be at like 11. But And I'm okay with that as long as he just, he needs to cut this. I know exactly yeah. who this is. Oh, okay. The whole audience is saying it's just, it's. Yeah. Even if it's just once a week, you can do it once a week. You don't <laughs> need to do it for all six yeah. people every single week. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think otherwise, this is a, it's a good production. I think Nick Nick's a great host. Nick's a great yeah. host. I think it's slick. The costumes are awesome. And yep, this season was really good. We had a lot of insane singers that people, and people that I didn't even know. I didn't know Adrienne Bailon at all. Yeah. And she came across to me as someone who was just genuine and sweet and beautiful voice and now I want to go learn more about her so yeah. it, that was a cool experience for the show too it was and I, I I love what the mass singer is well I think it can be better and I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all but I think now let's hear from you guys what would you do to make the mass singer better in season three Share in the comments, and if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the Carter Matt store, and we'll see you here next time.